next stage is to work out how long we need that bit of silver, which is there. It's not long enough to go around the finger yet, and we've got to make it the right width. So we'll assume that you're a size Q. Here's the ring stick. So we look at their size Q. This is ordinary steel wire. Um, I'm just going to bend that around there. I'm going to add on about three three mil just because the silver we're going to roll out is going to be thicker so when we bend it round it won't go as far right so you've just measured that wire around size Q on the ring stick I have and I've added on about three millimeters can we have a look at the ring stick sorry we didn't go ah there we go size Q <sighs> Not showing up very well. There's a bit of light. So all those little lines on there are a, are a, a ring. Different measurements, yeah. Different ring sizes. Okay. Then we measure it on the ruler, and we can see that we need about 65 millimeters long to make a size Q. Okay. Okay. The reason I haven't cut the wire is because I can always reuse it. Next, we go and roll this out, making it longer and thinner. Again, right, this is now rolling out the silver to get the correct length and the width. These are rolling mills. The height of these plates is adjustable, the top one. This side where it's flat, that can make sheet. And this side can make progressively smaller square wire. So we're going to make it into square wire. So we just put it in there. And then just roll it through like that. Turn it round so that we're doing the other side because it gets compressed by the top and the bottom. There we go. It's not really forming any shape yet. Can we look at it so far? Oh, it hasn't changed an awful lot, has it? It hasn't changed an awful lot yet. But you can see the flats just starting to form. Oh, yeah. It has got sides in there. Mm. We'll get that rolling for a bit more and you start to see a bit more. You can see it's starting to take shape now. Yep. With precious metals, you have to soften them after a while. With silver you can work, work with it quite a lot before you need to, especially after melting. I think with, with silver and probably, or more so with silver, but with gold, you can probably roll it out. If you're starting from about six millimeter square, you can roll it down to about three millimeter square before you need to anneal it, which softens the metal. What does anneal mean? Soften? It softens the metal, yeah. So you can, it, stops, it starts becoming springy and hard. You need to heat it up to soften it. With the precious metals, you don't work with them hot like you do with steels. Um, you always work with them cold. Usually work with them cold. I use um, a technique to detect the wire and I actually heat, heat it up, but it's um, it's not always done. You see now here, it's gone down to the second second oh, square. You've moved down a row. Yep. So, oh I see. Once it becomes too tight, and once these plates are touching, that's as far as you can go with each one. Where did you, show us where you started off again? In this one. All right, I mean, okay, yeah. These are the saw blades that I'm using. Why do you need um, a saw, so saw blade? What are you about to do? I'm going to cut a bit off the silver because we've got too much. And rather than make it all thin, I'm going to cut a bit off so that it's a bit more versatile for using later. If I made it too thin, or I made it all thin, 
I can only get smaller, I can't get bigger without remelting. <laughs> See the saw blade for people that have never seen a saw blade before. Cool, it's really thin. fine, and they break all the time. How many times have you had one stick in your finger? Hundreds. <laughs> Here we go, 3.2 millimeters. Now it needs annealing, it needs softening. Can I just go closer? Mm -hmm. So that's after putting it through the rolling wheels for. A few minutes. Rolling mills. Mills, sorry. Right, now we're annealing it on the charcoal block. We're looking for a sort of, not too intense red, but just a slight sort of red, redness to it, like that. Oh, some red. That's, that's softening it. Now we can just quench it, neutralise the acid, and dry it on a bit more kitchen towel. So what you're saying is kitchen towel is an essential part of jewellery making. It's probably the only thing you need. <laughs> um, Notice so now we're putting it through the flats. I said to, we'd try and get it to a four millimetres. Mm -hmm. Well, it's 3.2 at the moment, mm -hmm. and about 1.8 thick, like deep. This, putting it through lengthways, is going to make it longer. It's going to spread it a little bit wider. Let's see. But we don't want to go too wide. We want slightly over 4 millimetres. If we have slightly over 4 millimetres, we can clean it up with a file and still be left with 4 millimetres. At the moment, it's measuring about three millimetres in depth and about three and a half millimetres wide. So I'm just going to get a bit more width on it by putting it through at an angle. If you put it through flat that way, that's the way to spread the width more. All right. And lengthways spreads the length more. Okay, right, now we've finished rolling it out. You can see, but I'll show you, it's 4.2 or 4.3 millimeters wide, and just over 1.8, nearly 1.9 deep. Can't seem to get a very good close up on and more importantly as well, it's 80 millimetres long. So more than the 65 mil that we needed. Right, now to, to business. Mm -hmm.